My name is Chad Noggle. I am a board certified neuropsychologist and licensed clinical psychologist with Blessing Health System. We find ourselves in trying times. With the progression of COVID-19 into a global pandemic, news of rising numbers of those infected, increasing numbers of those who have succumbed to the virus, stock market instability, and general disruption of our day-to-day -day lives, it is not surprising that Americans find themselves worried, nervous, fearful, or downright anxious. In many ways, this is understandable. Stress and anxiety are common, natural reactions to the unknown, which is an apt descriptor of our current situation. We are not familiar with coronavirus, and that lack of knowledge naturally promotes worry and fear. When faced with stressful situations, we then naturally try to find solace in our normal day-to-day -day routines, but that too has been temporarily disrupted. Knowing this, we at Blessing Health System want to offer some tips and strategies for adults and children to cope with the anxiety and stress you may be experiencing at this time. When you find ways to help ease this anxiety and cope with this stress, you make yourself, those around you, and our community as a whole stronger. In this video, I will provide a general overview and three general tips on dealing with this stress. The first thing you can do may well be the hardest. That is, accepting that there are events that you cannot control. I know this can be easier said than done, in fact, some folks will experience increased worry from this feeling of not being in control or having feelings of hopelessness or helplessness, that there is nothing they can do. However, it is important to reframe this belief and put it into a real life perspective. While it is true there are things and events that are out of your control, this does not mean there is nothing you can do to reduce risk and ease burden. Taking practical steps to lessen your risk of catching the coronavirus is a perfect first step of taking back control when you can and where you can. Focus on three easy and sensible steps. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Keep your hands away from your face, especially your eyes, mouth, and nose. Finally, avoid crowds and practice social distancing. Additional helpful tips can be found at our blessinghealth.org website and from the Centers of Disease Control and the World Health Organization. The second thing you can do to reduce stress and worry is actually limiting media exposure on the topic, including social media. It is important to be informed. In fact, feeling as though you are properly informed and educated can reduce anxiety and worry. However, if every time you turn around you are seeking out more and more information on the coronavirus, two primary issues are likely to arise. One, by constantly consuming media reports on the subject matter, you are inadvertently putting yourself in a mental state of rumination. That is, you are constantly mulling over the subject matter with a byproduct being increased anxiety, worry, anger, and even depression. To put it more simply, imagine your fear and anxiety about coronavirus being a snowball. Ruminating on it by constantly consuming media reports is like pushing that snowball down a hill. All that snowball, your anxiety will do is grow and grow. Stay informed within reason, choose two trusted media sources. Check those sources for new information first thing in the morning, late afternoon, and finally in the evening, while also limiting your time spent across all three time periods. You will be informed while avoiding the pitfall of having it consume your every waking thought, and you also avoid the second issue that arises from overconsumption, which is falling victim to misinformation and sensationalism. Finally, devote time to yourself, your family, your friends, and generally unwinding. With all that is going on around us related to the coronavirus and the disruption it has caused in our everyday lives, it is easy to lose sight of ourselves. Anxiety and stress can be reduced by putting your fears of the unknown, particularly things out of your control, in the background and once again bringing yourself and your family and friends back to the front. Make time for hobbies, interests, and relaxation while being mindful of CDC precautions and guidelines. Skype or FaceTime with family and friends, or call and talk if the prior is not an option. Take advantage of family time at home watching movies, playing games, sharing a dinner around the table. Pick up that book you have been meaning to read. Devote time to meditation and prayer as a means of renewing your spirit. These are just a few examples of positive things you can pursue to fill your time and direct your attention in a more positive way.
Learn more about these activities and mind-body practices to reduce anxiety and stress in a companion video available on our social media pages and website. While this is a stressful time, we have the potential to not let the anxiety and stress of today dictate our tomorrow. Know that you have the power and potential to right the ship if anxiety and stress has veered you off course. We here at Blessing Health System are here to offer support and care to all in our community and beyond, with the focus now and always being making true human connections. Take care and God bless.